Hello, my name is Anetis Rivera Wagner. I'm a multi instrumentalist, producer, and songwriter from Buffalo, New York. Currently studying songwriting at Berklee College of Music, and I created this short piece of music in order to bring awareness to the ongoing hatred and racism that the Asian community has been facing. I hope you enjoy. But one thing that I know many of us in our community are very scared, and I understand that. One way to kind of go through, uh, through our fear is to reach out to our community. Reach out everyone here. I will, I will offer, I will challenge everyone here. If you see something, will you help me? Surveillance footage shows a 71-year-old Asian grandmother violently shoved to the ground, her purse stolen. Just one of several attacks in California's Bay Area recently. A 91-year-old man pushed in Oakland's Chinatown, one of three attacks that day. 84-year-old Thai American Visha Ratanapakti knocked over while out for a walk. He died a few days later from his injuries. His family saying they believe it was rooted in racism. The guy should not be allowed him back on the street. He should be charged with, with murder. If you see the video, there's nothing non-intentional about it. Asian American leaders say these attacks are a trend, not isolated incidents. What we are seeing is just the tip of the iceberg of what is actually happening in the communities. John Yang is the president of Asian Americans Advancing Justice and blames, in part, anti-Asian rhetoric surrounding the pandemic. The Asian American community has been faced with effectively two pandemics. The first is the COVID-19 pandemic, but the second pandemic that we have faced is also a virus. It's a virus of racism that we have faced. Asian Americans Advancing Justice has cited at least 3,000 anti-Asian incidents since last February. In New York City, there was an 867% increase in Asian hate crime victims in 2020 compared to the year before. For one thing, I am proud to be Asian!